Hello everybody. Just a short video for benchmarking my graphics card, which is the Sapphire Nitro Plus Radeon, or excuse me, RX 5700 XT. RX 5700 XT by Sapphire. And we're gonna be benchmarking it using the Superposition Benchmark by Unigen. Just to show you how this graphics card performs on the benchmarking. The latest benchmark that I could find that I know about. And I don't know about much, so anyway, let's get to it. I'm gonna show my my settings on my global graphics on Radiant Setting software. And you can just check it out. All I've done here in the advanced area is enhance application settings, super sampling on 2x anisotropic filtering, texture filtering high, tessellation mode AMD optimized. So no overriding anything. And radiant image sharpening on 100%. Radiant boost also on. Minimum res resolution 50%. And over here at the global tuning, I've, all I've done here, no overclocking at all. All I've done was increase the fan speed and at lower temperature just to cool my graphics card out. And increase the power limit just so it's not limited by anything. And so. Also, I'm using, along with my 5700 XT, I'm using a Ryzen 7 2600X CPU on a Gigabyte B450 Aorus M motherboard using RAM by G-Skill Trident Z Neo, 32 gigabytes of RAM. And a Radeon driver I'm using is 20.4.2 version. Okay, here we go. We're going to be doing it at 1440 pixels, 2K. So we're going to go to custom and resolution and shaders quality, medium. Texture quality high. Motion blur off. We don't need that. And so here we go. Here's the specs. Graphics. DirectX. You could also use OpenGL. Full screen. Okay, let's go.
go. Minimum frames per second, 66.91. Average, 86.20. Maximum, 104.43. This is actually one of my best scores, actually. 